Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Scavenger. Welcome back to Leap of Faith. I hope you guys are ready. We're into Chapter 3, or we either just finished Chapter 3. I'm not sure if I'm getting the chapter titles before or after. But anyway, we're here with a new video for Leap of Faith. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Oh. Okay, I'm giving up. Today, I'm going to buy a new couch, no matter what. That's right, he's been letting the girl sleep in his bed, and he's been uh, laying on this, probably the most uncomfortable-looking couch I've ever seen in my life. Like, I, I, don't, I, I won't even buy that to sit on, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, anyway, let's, let's keep moving forward. I'm so happy for Cece. I can't help but feel that yesterday was a big step forward for her. She seemed to finally let her guard down for a bit. Somehow, I think the problem is connected to her dealing with emotions. But that kiss. It would have been rude to reject her. Because she wanted it. Right? Or did I? It's a good question. Then there's what Linda did in the dressing room. And me and Robin the other day. But that was all friends with benefit based. She said so herself, and Kira. But I forgot to text her back. He's got like four women, man. This guy. <laughs> yeah, no wonder. Yeah, I could. I know you're confused. I know you're confused, Clifford. You're trying to juggle four women here. You're gonna get confused. It's gonna happen. Well, no use laying here soaking up back pain. Oh, are they sleeping? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. <laughs> CC is still in the covers. I've got to say, that's quite a rear end you got there, Linda. Oh, no bra. Okay. Maybe I should go in for a better view. Christ, what am I even thinking? What are you thinking? <laughs> that's not why I invited him to stay in my place. I'm glad he's making good choices here. Uh, anyway, what should I do? It's too early to go outside. I don't think it's ever too early to go outside. Hmm. Oh, she's waking up. Huh? Oh, that's right. I'm at Clifford's place. Feels good waking up in a proper bed. Wait, is he? Watching me? Oh, no. Oh, no, he's not. But he's right there. Why am I getting... Ho oh, yeah, I don't know why you are. I don't know why you are, Linda. Why? You tell me. I always had an exhibition aside, I guess. So, very, huh? All right, I'm heading out. I got to go find the hardest bench in the world just to prove it's better than my couch. Oh, yeah, he's going to he got to go shopping for that new couch so the girls can have some relax so the girls can have some relaxing time alone. I guess I need to sleep a bit more. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who's this? Kira, okay. You're being silly, Kira. You can't fall head over heels after spending one evening with a guy. That's not how you are. And why are you talking to yourself in the third person? But there was some chemistry there, right? He didn't want to do the horizontal boogie. But he said it was because he respected me. So romantic. Kira's the first girl um, from the fast food joint. Oh, stop it, Kira. You don't even have you don't even have a romantic side. Huh. Yeah, she's a girl from the fast food joint that he went on a date with. But then he ended up sleeping with her best friend. It was supposed to be fun, bringing in a guy to spice things up. But Robin, does she like him like that too? This is just getting messed up anyway. I have to talk to her about it. I just have to avoid Clifford until then. <laughs> and he's just out there. On his front bench. That's fucking funny, man. Ace to that. <laughs> Leaving. <laughs> oh, that's good. Or I could just have a little look. I mean, talk. No, I should leave before he wakes up. What is he even doing there? He's sleeping on the bench outside. Or, oh my god, make up your mind already. All right, is she leaving? I think she left. No, she's coming. Oh, what? 
Why am I such a sucker for a handsome body? I mean, personality. She gonna say something? Careful in the sun there, tiger. You might get a sunburn. Huh? Is that Kira? Flex a bit to show off or get out. Well, let's see. I'm gonna flex a bit. Oh, uh, I didn't know anyone was here. <laughs> Mind if I join you? Depends. Is that frappy for me? It might be. Or I might just walk away and drink it myself. If you don't move over, that is. <laughs> you had me at it. Or whatever your first word was. I'm sure you're just laying around here, showing off anyway. Well, did it work? I think so. That sweet old lady that went past was sending some lustful looks. If you're quick, you might catch up with her. Oh, Miss Peterson and 47? Nah, we only get down and dirty on Tuesdays and Thursdays. <laughs> okay. Listen, I, I was going to reply to your text, but there's been so much going on lately. Oh, never mind that. But I wanted to tell you that I really had a good time on our date, or whatever we call it. I agree, but don't mention that you might like someone else. Or I agree and hint you like her. I'm just gonna... I don't know. These choices are kind of weird to me still. Like, she's cool. I don't mind, like, letting everybody know, like, hey, I'm interested. Let's take it further with everybody and then figure out things that way. Uh, uh, like... Clifford's not exclusively dating anyone, but I guess I'll just go with this option. I did too, and finally got to learn some bowling. Anyway, so I heard Robin had a fucked up opening night at her bowling, and I went by her place, and I saw you were there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I went by the bowling alley to help her out, and got the full rundown. So I decided to help cheer her up a bit, and we went to her place after. We shared a bottle of vodka and played video games. Hmm. But I didn't tell her anything else. Oh! The way, the way she was grinding on you looked like you were doing more than playing video games. Okay. Oh, man. She was peeking. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, shit. Uh, ask, tell her... Tell her you had sex with Robin. Ask her to get the story from Robin. What should I do here? This is weird. Um, let's try it. I feel uncomfortable talking about it, I'm going to be honest. I would suggest you talk it over with Robin. Fair, I guess. You see, me and Robin both have the same stance on sex. Like it's a hobby or something fun to do. Yeah, she told me the whole hobby story. I think that's why we have amazing sex already. And even though we're in a relationship together, we decided we would bring in a guy. Oh, what? So we could enjoy it even more, even if it was with someone else. I just didn't realize that I might actually end up liking the guy very much. Wait, you're lesbians? <laughs> Bye, if you're going to be technical. And it's rather funny that you found that to be the most important part of everything I've said. I'm just flabbergasted. It's all right. It just caught me off guard. Me too, I guess. I'm kind of lost for words at the moment. And you? Are you mad at me? Or us, rather? Not really. I think I need to cheer her up a bit. Oh my god, stop it, please. That's just too cute. <laughs> hmm. Too late. Now you've done it. Cuteness overload. I'm melting. What? The way you're drinking with that straw. It's just too adorable. Can you stop it? I'm drinking normally. Nothing adorable about it. Okay, okay. Whatever floats your boat. But it's still cute. So, I was wondering. Hypothetically speaking, from a guy's point of view. If you were into me, would you be okay with me being Robin's lover? You've just encountered... Your first impact choice, okay? Impact choices are decisions you take that in some form or way will have a ripple effect that will run its course until the very end of the story. 
These choices heavily influence the different character endings, even if they are not your main romantic interest. Give them some thought before choosing. All right, so let's let's look at the choices here. Can you explain that a bit more? Yes, I'd be okay with two girls' relationship. No, that wouldn't feel right to me. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, I think that would be okay. Um, I think it would be if if they're okay with it. I think um, a poly relationship is okay if, if all parties involved are okay with it and comfortable. Um, and I think that's what she's going with, but I could ask her to explain more. So let me see if I do that. What what she'll say? Do you mean if you were a couple and you'd still see her on the side? No, more involved than that. Okay, threesomes. <laughs> yes. Or. Or maybe you would have something against lesbian actions in general. Oh, I see. Okay. So, actually, yeah, I, I, I would be okay with that. That's fine. Yeah. Like I just said, I'm okay with like a poly relationship if everybody in that relationship is cool with it. Okay. So, you're talking about two girls and a guy relationship. Yes. Of course I wouldn't mind that. Anyway, I'm supposed to meet Robin now at Luca's. Want to tag along? Sure thing. Why not? Great. Let me just finish this. And not a word about me drinking weirdly. <laughs> I may or may not say a word, okay? Go with may not. Or I may or may not throw something at you. <laughs> she, she does that look again. She knows what she's doing. What? I, I didn't say anything. Uh, he probably needs to get dressed, huh? Should I? He could take a picture of her. Let's do it. Cute. What? No. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think now's the perfect time to wrap it up for the day. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming by, watching the video. If you liked it, you know what to do. Go ahead and smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.